course, Monty, you came in with Jackie Robinson, played with Jackie Robinson. Can you just sort of talk to us a little bit about what today means to you to uh, kind of be sharing this day with all these uh, great guys up here in the suites? Well, it's quite a tribute, and the, uh, the Astros ought to be complimented for putting on such a great uh, tribute to him. Uh, I played with Jackie and I played against him, mostly against him, because he played for the Dodgers and I played for the Giants. So you know how that rivalry was in New York City. Great guy, great ball player. Uh, he became, he introduced the, uh, the, you know, the, 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 the Negro League way of playing, you know, stealing bases and thrilling on the bases and, you know, hitting the balls, uh, you know, uh, drag bunting and, you know, all the, you know, the inside baseball. He introduced that and he made it possible, of course, you know, for Mays and, and, uh, and you know, and Aaron and 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 and, and Bonds and Gibson and, and all those you know uh, great players who came after him. When he was called up, we knew that uh, if he succeeded, that it would mean the demise of the Negro Leagues. But uh, we all realized too that uh, you have to pay a price for progress, and uh, we didn't mind it at all because uh, we're rooting for him, and we. Just great uh, uh, that he uh, did such a great job of pioneering. And of course, up here in the suite, you've got um, just not only yourself, but you've got guys like J.R. Richard. You had some of the players come up today, Michael Bourne, Jason yeah. Bourgeois, Jimmy, Jimmy Wynn's up here, yeah, just to you know, kind of uh, mingle the old with the new, and I know that's special to you as well to, to pass that on. It sure is, you know. And, uh, you know, and Jimmy and Jimmy Wynn and J.R. Richards and all these other players, uh, uh, they feel the same as I do, you know. Uh, Jackie made it possible for them to participate. It should have happened sooner, but it, at least it happened. And uh, they're all grateful. And uh, uh, it, whenever uh, Jackie's name is mentioned, we all feel very, very grateful. He it was a it was a trying time for him, but he. Uh, he persisted and he succeeded. That's the main thing. Well, you know, and in talking to you earlier today, it's not only what Jackie Robinson did for baseball, but really what he did for the world. It extends far beyond baseball. That's right. Uh, he, 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 he introduced democracy, fair play, and, and morality. And uh, not only did it, uh, it help baseball, but it helped the other sports, and it, and it helped the, the whole country. It helped, uh, you know, the average person working in a, you know, in a store or, you know, or secretary asking for a job and so on. So he helped. He helped. He helped. He helped the. He helped the blacks and he helped the whites also. So what he did was just wonderful, and we really appreciate uh, his wonderful effort. Well, of course, we appreciate you being up here as well. This is the second year in a row I've been able to have the privilege to interview you, the oldest living member of the Hall of Fame, and I know that's very special and means something to you as well to be able to come out here and uh, have that. Uh, well, when you live long enough, you know that all kind of good things can happen to you. And right now, I'm enjoying that. I just hope I can can last a few more years to come, you know, come to the ballpark, talk to people like you and others, and uh, you know, just uh, just just enjoy baseball. And that's what I still do. All right. Well, I've enjoyed it again, and I will look forward to talking to you on Jackie Robinson Day next year here at the ballpark. I'll be here. I hope you. Yeah. All right. I will too.